Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will run through a business scenario called Kickoff 2017. And it's going to show some techniques using Word templates and quick parts, Microsoft Flow, ratings, and of course, SharePoint and SharePoint Online as the basis for it all. The goals is that I want to have a form that anybody can fill in. So anonymous form fills in SharePoint. They shouldn't have to log into my SharePoint. I shouldn't have to share my SharePoint with anyone else. And it should be very simple to use for my users. So that's the goals. The scenario we're doing here, we're selecting a bunch of restaurants. We're sending them an email with an attached PDF file. And then we're asking them to upload that file to Dropbox so that we will request them to submit a menu in our form. And this is, of course, just one example where you can do use this for any kind of form that you would like some people to submit, maybe quotes, maybe statements of works, CVs, something like that. So the menus in this case are submitted to Dropbox, and then I'm going to create a flow that automatically copies these Dropbox items into SharePoint. And then I'm going to enable a rating system. We can make a selection based on which restaurant has provided the best menu. All right, so we'll use a new document library here for this. So I'm going to start by creating a new app for that. It's just going to be a document library. Kick off menus, I'll call that. And I'm going to make a couple of changes to that document library. First of all, I'm going to add a new column. I'm going to call that, that's going to be a currency. So I need to go into more here. The cost per guest is, of course, an important one. So I'm going to do currency there. And I don't want any decimal places, so I'll set that to zero. Okay, and then I'm just going to move that over. Let's just do that here. Show hide columns. There I can move the cost per guest up. There we go. And I'll have that on after the name. That's fine. So apply that, and then I'm just going to save this view. So and then I want to edit the template for this document library. I'm going to do that under advanced settings by clicking on edit template here. I've done a little bit of preparations here. I've created this menu. As you see, it's for January 6, 2016, and it has the Contoso kickoff 2017. So I'll copy the whole table here, and I'm just gonna copy and paste that into my template document that's connected to SharePoint. Now, the final thing I'm gonna do is get this column that I just created in SharePoint and get that displayed inside here. I'm gonna do that under Insert, under here you have the quick parts, and that's the cost per guest. Then I'm going to go into the developer tab. If you don't see that developer tab, you need to customize the ribbon and make sure you check this box for developer. Then I want to restrict the editing of this document, so I'll click edit restrictions here and only allow fill in forms. And then I'll start enforcing the protection. I want everybody to submit the same information, of course. So the first thing that they're going to be filling in is the cost per guest. And then they're going to be changing the menu item names and adding pictures of their food in here. So then I save this now, save it back to SharePoint, and that's good. But I also want to email it. So I'm going to share and email this out, send us an attachment to all the restaurants. They'll, of course, get this .x file, and they can create a new file based on that. And before they do that, though, I want to make sure I have a place here for them to drop that off. And that's going to be in Dropbox. So I'll go to Dropbox, where I've already created an account for my Contoso company here. And I will go into my file requests, which is a place where people can request files without logging into Dropbox. So they don't need to have a Dropbox account. Uh, menu suggestions. I'll create that. And I'll copy the link and put that in the email that I want to send out. Please upload your suggestion here. And next, there we go. Or we can actually put the email addresses right there and Dropbox will do the work for you. But there we go. Now I have a link. And next, I'm going to create a flow. 
that takes these file requests that are submitted into Dropbox and moves them into my document library. So let's do that. And I'll go to flows, flowmicrosoft.com. I'm logged in in Office 365 here, so I can already see my flows that I've already created. So I'm gonna create a new one from blank here. That's gonna be a Dropbox connected one when a file is created. Now I've already made the connection with the Dropbox as you see. So I don't have to get do that all over again, but if you do it for the first time with Dropbox, then you get the approval dialog that you wanna connect the two accounts. But now I just select the Dropbox there when a new file is created. And then I'm gonna select the folder where something is created. File requests, there we go the menu suggestions. That's the one I just created. And then I'm gonna create a new step. And when that happens, when a new file is created there, I'm gonna add an action and that's gonna be a SharePoint action. So I want the files to be created in SharePoint, of course. So I wanna get the site URL. So let's copy that from this icon here, copy shortcut. And just point it enter a custom one there. Let's see if we have the one. That's the one I'm using right now, the tests. And then I want to select the folder, kick off menus. That's the one we want. The file name should of course be the same file name that we get from Dropbox. You notice the little Dropbox icon here and the file content should be the same. So that's done. I'm creating the flow. Done. So there we have the whole process. Let's go over here to the kickoff menus. And soon we should be able to see our um, menu suggestions popping in here. When, uh, once I send these out to the restaurant owners and they can just upload those suggestions to this link, right? So now we've prepared everything and we're ready to send these emails out. So I'll go over to a new role I'll play a restaurateur and I'm gonna fill in one of these forms. I'll continue as the restaurateur now and I'll double click this template, open that in Word. And of course that creates a new item, a new document from that template, enable edit. And of course, because this is protected now, I can only fill in the, the ones, the stuff that I am supposed to. So I'll fill in the cost per guest and then I'll start filling in the menu items. Made those and then I'll double click the picture and upload my picture of how my beautiful tomato is going to look. Or I can just search Bing and steal somebody else's picture. That one looks beautiful. And I'll keep going with my menu like that. And then I'm going to save that. Let's just save that as on my PC here, browse. And my desktop. Rest one. And then I will go to my Dropbox, the file requests. And now let's just copy this link here, open that in a new private browser. So we'll see that we're not logged in. Paste that. As you see, I am not logging into Dropbox. I get the sign in button there, but I'm not logged in. But I'll choose the file, get the restaurant one file, um, type in my restaurant name and the email address test at qlab.sc or something like that. Upload. So let's do another one and let's um, do it from the start again. There we go. Starting from the templates. I'm back to normal. So the first one and the one is 49 and that's gonna be broccoli. So we have something That looks wonderful. Excellent, so now we're saving that. The desktop again, browse. I just call that restaurant two. And we're uploading that document also. Again, not logged in, remember? So I'll just open the link here. Let's 
Try that again. There we go. Choose the file. Press down to Dina Stenson as the second name here. Like that. Upload that file. So now I'm done in my role as the restaurant owners who are submitting their menus. Let's see now how this looks in SharePoint because now by now we should have seen on my flow that this should have run twice now. Succeeded once 52 seconds ago. Let's refresh and see if we've succeeded. There we go. The second one succeeded also. So now I can go back to my SharePoint document library, refresh, and there we see the both have filled out their information, and I can also see that um, the cost per guest metadata is visible here. So let's just open one of these, and we'll see there's the tomato, and go back to the other one, and look at that one, and there's the broccoli. So now I'm just going to go into the settings again for this library, and go into the rating settings, and I'll say that I want to get star ratings there on this one. And now I can go in and say that I do like the broccoli very much. The tomato, yeah, that was cool too. So there I can of course sort and uh, filter on the ratings when a lot of people have rated. So we can also of course get the preview here. If we do this, we'll go to properties of this document, details there, get the little preview with the tomato and all that information, the metadata. So while this was a rather simple example, I hope it illustrates a rather powerful concept of using flows, using word templates to enable you to fill out forms anonymously to SharePoint. Thank you for watching this demonstration.